Hey, welcome to another Marshall Fusion kickboxing power workout. So, nice and easy, side to side with that boxer shuffle. Knees slightly bent, here's, heels are up, body relaxed, moving from side to side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, in one, right from center, open and close. Knees is slightly bent. You can keep the hands right in front of you as we start warming up the body and getting ready for that kickboxing power workout. Bring it back to the boxer shuffle, side to side. <clears throat> Relax the arms. Nice and limber, nice and loose. Right from there, we're gonna start bringing the heels all the way up. Breathing deeper. Back to the boxer shuffle, side to side. Okay, right from there, we're gonna assume our neutral stance and what we want right from here is just to start creating just a little tap that is gonna allow us now to start stretching the lower back as we rotate and raise the heel on the back with the exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then from there, nice and relaxed, we're just gonna be leaning the body from one side to another, just to start stretching the sides, just with a little tap, everything is soft, everything is opening up, and then nice and slow, we're gonna start making full circles all the way down into the center line and back. Keeping those knees deeply bent. Excellent on the way down. Your hands are just in front of you, down and up. They're just aware. We are trying to maintain the body straight as we go down. So we really, really are focusing on warming up the legs by the deep bend on the way down. For four more. Three. Two, and one. We're gonna hold it right in the middle. Then we're gonna push down, we're gonna open a little further. Use the forearms and elbows to help us open the hips and stretch them out. Right from here, we're gonna place the hands down. We're gonna choose one side and we're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, a slow transition into the other side. Bring it all the way down, open up. In five, four, three, two, <clears throat> and one. We're gonna bring it back to the middle. One more time, pushing back, keeping that body straight, opening the hips. Then hands going to the knees, body straight. Hold it for four three, two, and one. Push yourself all the way up slowly, squeeze everything, and then from there, just relax the body and open and close. <sighs> Breathing, <sighs> soft. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Knees slightly bent, the heels, heels are up. Shoulders relax, hands relax, arms relax, everything is soft. And then slowly back into that boxer shuffle from side to side. Okay, our warm up today, it's gonna be based on the forward knee transition. That means that we're gonna get into a fighting stance with the hands up in front, nice and relaxed and open. We're gonna breathe in and breathe out with the knee forward and then switch sides. And we're gonna go for 30 repetitions of those. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Twenty. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And thirty. Back to that boxer shuffle and body side to side. Nice and limber, nice and loose. Relax those arms. <sighs> Breathing a little deeper. Then right from there, we're just gonna put 15 squats in place. Okay, just a little bit wider than your hips. Make sure your back's straight and that you keep your hands in the front without looking down as you exhale on the way down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Yes, bring it up and back to that boxer shuffle. Nice and relaxed, nice and limber. Open and close right in the middle once more. Continue to warm up. Today we're just gonna use some basic exercises to warm up as we continue to move through the routine. Okay, so right from there, what we want is we want to be able to step into one side with the heel in an angle and slowly just lift the leg straight to the side and then switch with a step step boom into the other side you've seen that before in the power workouts one and two but today we're just using that exercise as part of our warm-up so make sure that you exhale on the way up you do not bend the knees you start preparing the position of your foot like if you were doing a side kick and nice and easy as you raise make sure that you can lean your body away from the leg that is being lifted we're going for 20 one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, twenty. Good. Back to that boxer shuffle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the center. Start bringing the heels back up again. You can relax your arms. Move them around. Getting everything limber. Everything loose. Okay. So right in place. Let's just crisscross. Open and close. Limber up the shoulders, the chest, the arms. Nice and relaxed. Just a couple more exercises for that warm up. Get the body prepared. In circles back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right from there, we're going to get into a fighting stance. And what we want is we want to do a forward leg extension to start stretching the hamstring little by little. So the leg on the back is going to remain straight, chin is going to be up 
body is straight, hands in the front, exhale through the mouth when we raise the leg 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nicely done. Switch it up into the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathing. Eight, nine, and ten. Back to that boxer shuffle right in the center. Very good. And to finish that warm up, we're going to put a set of ten push ups right in place. So you can go on your fist, make sure that you're shoulder apart. And when you're going down, make sure that those elbows are coming really, really tight into the body so they do not open to the side with the body straight. So let's get into the position. 10 push ups together, feet together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Aye, we bring it up, we roll it all the way up, and we get back into that boxer shuffle. Nicely done. So today I want to start from my fighting stance, just making that step in and limbering up my round kick with my hands in the front. So we're going for the mawashigeri, which is the boom, round kick with the lead side for 10. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right from there, we're going to get into that fighting stance. We're going to close it up. And we're going to start with a jab, cross, jab, weave forward or in after the three punches. One. Yeah. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nicely done. Give me a little jump rope right in the middle. We keep moving. We keep allowing the energy to increase. Remember, your breath is your power. So make it deep, make it long. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Same thing on the other side. So we get into the fighting stance. First thing that we're gonna do is step in with the inhale and throw that round kick to limber that up. 10 times, hands up. And one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right from there, we're going to close that fighting stance a little bit more. So we go for the upper body. So we got the jab, cross, jab, and then the weave forward. Make sure you do not drop your eyesight when you're going under. Exhale on the way down. Going for 10, hands up. And one, two, three, 
Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Yes, back to that boxer or jump rope right in the middle. So today we got several sets of squats, push-ups in between the techniques. So we're moving along into the second set of squats. 15 of them from neutral position, hands in the front, exhale on the way down, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And limber up, limber up. We're gonna go back into the idea of the transition from side to side that we did before with the knee, but this time we're just gonna allow now that leg to extend all the way forward into a front kick as we lean away with the hands in the front. Going for 30 front kicks from side to side. Hands up, ready position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep going. One, two, three, four, exhale. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Last 10, hands up. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Hey, move it around. What can I tell you? I'm Spanish after all. So your treasure is where your roots are. Never forget that. Okay, body side to side. So what do you say if we go for the second set of push-ups right in place? Okay, so shoulder apart, feet together in the back. Hey, right? and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, bring it up, roll it up, keep it moving side to side. So the idea is that once we start moving, we do not stop until we're done with the workout. Kickboxing power workout. So we're gonna get into that fighting stance and we'll get, today we're gonna work a couple of different combinations. This one right here is gonna go like this. From the rear this time, we're gonna start with an uppercut into the stomach, hook into the face, cross into the face, and then from there, mawa shigeri or round kick into the face. So what we got is uppercut, hook, cross, round kick with the lead side, all right? We're gonna do eight of those now. Bring them up, and one. Hands up, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nicely done, back to the center, give me a little jump rope. 
so we can work that transition on the other, uh, that combination into the other side so uh, what is interesting about this is that more common are combinations that start from your lead side but today we're going to be starting from that back side which is going to make it interesting for your coordination just to start working in a different manner so we have the uppercut from the back hook from the lead cross from the back and then lead mawashigeri one more time uppercut hook cross round kick hands up with a nice flow we do it eight times and one two three four five six seven eight good back to that jump rope right in the middle keep it moving though bring the heels up breathe okay back to that neutral position so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work the side kick but we're gonna work it right in place usually when we are doing side kick on the, on the previous workout we're making the steps just kind of like to power through your kick but today I want you to try to plant one foot which is the one that is always going to be there and then from that leaning and base I want you to be able just to push without moving your base okay we're going to go for that side kick in place 10 times hands up in one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten nice so from my neutral now i pick the other side my foot is in an angle that allows me to put my body weight there my hands are up so i can free my lead side to push with the heel and the edge of the foot for the side kick without moving your base ready one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good job back to the center jump rope okay from neutral position we're gonna do just a little coordination exercise now for the arms the way this is gonna work is uppercut 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 and then it's gonna be double uppercut single single double uppercut single single all right so that will be one two three four five six seven eight back to that jump rope and move it around open and close keep breathing keep moving going into the third set of squats 15 of them again bring it into your neutral position body's straight exhale on the way down ready and uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve diez once doce trece catorce quince and back to that boxer and keep it moving nicely done okay we're gonna get into the fighting stance now this time completely to the side 
and we're gonna start combining. So on the kickboxing power workout number two, we were working the hook kick, okay, the uramawashi. Today, we're gonna step in, go for that hook kick, and as soon as we land, we're gonna send it back with the round kick, then we can move back, okay? So we have hook kick, round kick, shuffle back, we do it 10 times. Nice and easy. Hands up. One. And back. Two. Three. Four. Nice and limber. Five. Just touch and go back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Beautiful. Hold it in the center. Hold it in the center. So remember, this is these workouts that I'm sharing with you is not really about how hard you can go, but it's how long can you do it for safely, intelligently, obviously with good form and technique. So you can protect your joints, you can develop the alignment and the way that you operate your body. And then little by little, you can start building more flexibility, strength, power, and endurance. So if we get into the other side, same thing. This kick, I want to be very nice with it. Make sure you don't pull anything, especially if you're not used to it. So I'm stepping through, I'm doing my hook kick. As soon as I land, I don't wanna really put my weight down. I want that touch to bounce back into the second kick and then I can shuffle back so I can get into my Ura Mawashi Giri uh, 10 times. Ready, hands up. And one. Two. Three. Four. Breathe. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Nicely done, back to the center. Hold it right there in place. Going for the third set of push-ups. Only 10, but remember, shoulder apart, bring the elbows in, body straight, and breathe with those push-ups. This time I'm facing you. So let's get down and uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Bring it all the way up, roll it, and keep it moving, relax. Okay, the next exercise is one of my favorite exercises. It says for finding the way to operate the body as one unit, developing a lot of flexibility and limberness, especially for the lower body, at the same time that you develop that strength on all of your joints, especially for kicking. So the way it's gonna work is, we're gonna get back into that push-up position. Feet together in the back. Right from here, wanna be able to bring one foot to the side, like if I'm stretching my body, keeping my knee off the ground. That's when I'm gonna exhale. I'm gonna inhale, go back. Exhale out into the other side. So you can start nice and slow, like if you're stretching, in, 
out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Then we can put some counts in there. We can put a little more intention and make it with a flow for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it in, bring it to the middle and roll it all the way up and get it moving again, guys. Get it moving again. Beautiful job, beautiful job. So we got one more routine over here. We're gonna get into that fighting stance. We want to make everything nice and compact. So what I'm gonna do is the following. Jab, jab, cross, jab, double knee from the front. Once again, jab, jab, cross, jab, double knee from the front, breathing out every time you throw those punches through the mouth, nice and strong, going for a set of eight. So get ready. Nice and compact, nice and tight. Double jab, cross jab, lead knee twice. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and jump rope. So you notice because the movements are so close together and they're so relatively short, everything becomes very compact and very tight. So that is a great drill. If you wanna start with eight, and then you start just increasing the numbers and seeing how many can you do at once without losing the range of motion, the quality, and the power and the energy on, on the repetitions. So we get into the other side. We keep breathing though. Power workout. The power is your breath. Deep in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. So what do we got on the other side? Nice and relaxed. Jab, jab, cross, jab, double knee. You can use your hands to tap into that knee as you exhale. One more time. Jab, jab, cross, jab, knee, knee. Every punch, every knee has an exhalation. Going for one set of eight. Get ready. And uno. Dos. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Back to the middle. And then right here, we're gonna close that cardio section just with a set of jumping jacks in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Slowly. Keep moving though. This is how we're gonna close the workout today. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go for one set of abdominals. Leg extensions. 50 of them. So make sure that you focus on the alignment of your body. Do not allow the head to be resting on the ground. Bring the chin into the chest. Okay, and if you happen to have any sort of issues with your lower back, then if you feel the back pain, stay away from this exercise. Just do any other type of abdominal exercise so you can finish strong with us, all right? So we're going all the way down into the floor. 
right when we get here hands are going in a triangular position right under my lower back my chin is going to be forward feet and knees together i'm looking at my feet every time i extend my legs my upper body comes higher that's when i exhale and we go for one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten come on uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty almost there and one two three four five six seven eight nine last ten forty and ten nine eight seven six five four three two and fifty beautiful bring it up nicely done open now let's finish on the ground today just open your position nice deep stretch try to open a little further from there bring your body straight and inhale with me and exhale down we're gonna do it again breathe in and breathe out and in and breathe out right from there we're gonna choose just one leg and we're gonna hold it there for eight seven six five four three two and one Go up switch it up to the other side just same thing nice and gentle though breathe into it and eight seven six five four three two and one and slowly back to the middle now from there just as an exercise just to see how your back does by lifting all the way up body straight body straight chin up hold it for five four three two and one open the arms to the side open the chest keep the alignment of your spine for three two and one relax the hands behind you draw your hips back yeah and bring them in for a butterfly stretch bring your feet together use your elbows to help the knees to open up to the side hold on to your feet take a deep breath and we hold it for eight forward and down four eight seven six five four three two and one slowly we come up i always like to use the squats as an essential part of my routines and stretching especially because this is one of those positions that we give for granted okay and for some people just being on a squat with your heels down is very challenging because maybe you have some sort of like issue on your knee or you just lost the flexibility altogether so it is important that you spend time every single day just regaining the ability for you to sit on this position for a long time in a comfortable manner with the body straight then you can bring your palms together and then from there you can just push your body all the way up boom then we can just relax it all the way down three more times with the breath inhale deeply out again up and release and one more inhale and exhale and with a relaxed strong body and a clear flexible soft 
adaptable mind, feet together, palms together, right in front of the chest and the heart with good posture. And this is our traditional salute, just to indicate that we have realigned ourselves with our training. And with that, we thank you for joining us today for another kickboxing power workout. We'll see you on the next one. Keep working, write me your comments.